Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to perform the pairwise sequence alignment by using the tools provided by European Molecular Biology Laboratory. To get access to these tools, simply click on this link. And when you will click on this link, you will be landed to the next page that is, which is dedicated for the tools for the pairwise sequence alignment. Here you can actually see that there are the two different type of the tools available to you. The one type of the tools for the global alignment and other type of the tools for the local alignment. The global alignment pairwise sequence alignment is used for the alignment of related sequences while the local pairwise sequence alignment is used for the alignment or the comparison of unrelated or dissimilar sequences. Right now we have a related sequences so that's why we are going for a global alignment and in a global alignment you can see that there are the two further algorithms available for you. The one is a Needleman algorithm another one is a stretcher and for this tutorial we are going to use the Needleman algorithm. To get access to this tool or the algorithm simply click on this needle and when you will click on this needle you will be landed to the next page which will, uh, which will be specific for the Needleman algorithm. Here on this page, you can see that you have a both options. Uh, you can align the protein sequences and as well as you can align the DNA sequences. So right now we are going to align the DNA sequences. So we will click on this DNA, uh, DNA option and then on in these two boxes, we will paste our DNA sequences. So we have these two DNA sequences. This is our sequence number one. So we will copy it and we will paste it here in the first box and we will copy and paste our second sequence this is our sequence number two so we will copy and paste it here and then simply after copying and pasting our sequences in these two boxes we will click on this submit button with the default option we will highly recommend it to you not to change this option and go with the default one because changing these option may create a lot of the problems for you and you need to be very expert to fix these issues. So simply click on this submit button and when you will click on this submit button there will be some processing and after the few moments you will have this job link. You can save that job link or you can simply ignore it and you can directly see your uh, results or the alignment results. The first very important information you should note it here that this is a percentage identity, similarity and the gaps. As you can see it here in our alignment there is 97.4% identity and similarly 97.4% similarity while the gaps percentage is 2.6%. What is a gap? The gap is actually the regions or which are dissimilar with one another or the total number of the nucleotides which are dissimilar with one another which are unrelated with one another. We will come back to the similarity and identity shortly. If you look at at the bottom you can see the sequence 1 and the sequence 2 alignment and these vertical bars between these two sequences is letting you know that these two nucleotide in sequence 1 and 2 are identical with one another. So as you can see it here that most of the portion of sequence 1 and the 2 that is identical or similar. But wait a moment, there is actually a region which is not similar in sequence 1 and 2. There is a gap here. You can see it here that the sequence which is present, the part of the sequence which is present in sequence number 1 that is completely absent in sequence number 2. So that's why this region is represented with these horizontal lines. This is a dissimilar region. So the comparison is letting us know that most of the sequences, are, both sequences are same but there is a small uh, portion between these two sequences which is different from one another. Now let's come back to the identity and similarity. The concept of identity and similarity is same in case of the nucleotide alignment. Uh, that's why you are going to find it out the same numbers in a similarity and identity because there are the four different type of the nucleotides in DNA A, T, C and G. So the if there is A in front of A, if there is a T in front of T and similarly if there is a G in front of G or the C in front of C, so it's identity and as well as a similarity. But in case of the protein, the concept of identity and the similarity is very different and we will cover that topic in next tutorial when we will uh, compare or we will align the protein sequences with one another. Stay with us.